Hey guys, this is Eric Cronover from Nerdy Geek Talks, source of all your nerdy geeky needs, here with episode 42, which is the greatest number ever, if you've read the greatest book ever, of nice. Steel nice. City Bots. Uh, here with me tonight, I have Jared. How are you? Doing really good. That's good. Doing real good. good. Sanjak, how are you tonight? I am doing well. That's good. Miguel, how are you? Isn't shaking anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that's good. I'm glad you're not. I'm glad I'm not shaking. Um, Tanner, how are you? We are excellent. Did you say we? Okay. He's obviously using the royal we. I gotcha. <laughs> um, and Chris, how are you? I'm great. That's good. What I you... got something awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, yes, we can, for sure. So you, yeah. can, you don't have to do that anymore. It's okay. I won't. I took it off. Uh, but yeah, so we're all we're all here this week. Happy, so happy, happy time. Fourth um, of July. So Zeus isn't here. Well, yeah, Zeus isn't here. He was going to be, but it, we just we took too long to start. Yeah. Uh, also, all the <laughs> animals for the anonymous members on the Google Doc for the notes are very funny. There's a kiwi, you know the bird, a kiwi. It's anonymous kiwi. But anyways, I just I just saw that, thought it was weird. Um, That's a kiwi noise, right? I don't. Do kiwis make noises really? I don't know. Probably. They probably yeah, they make some. Probably. But anyway, Soundjack, what is our history lesson for this week? All right, we are recording on July second. And on this day in 2005, the Transformers Cybertron cartoon premieres on American television with its third episode titled Hidden. Yeah, that's a interesting series launch. You know, yeah. why not just air the third episode first? <laughs> Didn't they do also, something like that with Code Lyoko, too? They just, like, started in the middle of the series. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, the like, giant teddy bear, that's all I remember. Lyoko wasn't really that much that much of a continuity, like, a, a, an ongoing story. is kind of more episodic. True, but still. Yeah, like, I, I understand. always found that funny. But, like, when you're, like, just dropped into Autobots are hiding on Earth, Megatron and the Decepticons are bad guys, and they're already found the, what the first cyberplane key is, and everyone's like, what is that? Unless, well, unless you watch the intro, because the intro just basically tells you what the plot of the show is every episode. The Autobots wage their battle to destroy the, the evil, evil forces of the, of the Decepticons. Oh, so God, I missed that show. Okay, that that's that's a grand theme song. I don't care what anyone else says. That's a grand theme song, not the oh, greatest God, Transformers theme song, that. but still. <laughs> well, uh, um, but yeah, I'm just going into the notes to try to figure out what happened. Uh, if I can, I just know the all I know is that the, the series is just uh, no. They just missed it. They just missed. It. They just screwed up. That's all weird. I know is the series. Yeah. But the series has had a lot of this Cybertron creature who did have a lot of problems like having its episodes premiere because I think it flipped between Cartoon Network and Fox Kids and back to Cartoon Network at some point. Hmm. And that there was like, 13 uh, years ago. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh I did not get Cybertron at this point, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> it was later on. It was definitely around when it was airing on Cartoon Network back at the middle of 2006. Oh All right. Well, sound check. What did you get this week? All right. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I only got one thing this week. Uh, that is Transformers related, I should say. Um, but I was at a local uh, retro toy and video game store, and they had a Solar Storm grapple in packaging, and I picked that up. A what? So uh, you want to sell that to me? Uh, no. Uh, Solar Storm grapple. Grapel, I should say, with that spelling, or the the universe generations incarnation of G one Grapple. Wait, why is it called Solar Storm? Because is that one episode where he made that thing for the Decepticons. You no, know, because he was part of the reveal of the Shield toy line, so they couldn't use the suffix Autobots. Oh, uh, gotcha, gotcha. 
Okay. So they gave him the crazy solar storm Grapel, since they already had to spell his name wrong just to get it past trademark. <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah. Uh, Miguel. Ooh, that's all. What did you get this week? Just a couple things. Um, there was an eBay coupon, so of course I ordered some stuff, and I also had a short shopping list that I wanted to do for a custom I'm doing. So first, for the non-custom fodder, uh, Hunt for the Decepticons Breacher and Transformers Adventure Stronger. What's wrong with your Breacher? Um, Breacher... Um, yeah, Breacher's going back. I've actually been messaging with the seller, and the seller's gonna replace it for me, because apparently the seller has a ton of Breachers. Um, just stress marks and stuff up through the one of the ball joints in the arms that's, like, gone through the chest and also cracked some of it, now that I'm looking at it. It's actually really bad. But the Ooh. seller's uh, replacing it for me, so that's, that's pretty good. Adventure um, strong arm. How nice does that look? She's she's really nice. Um, I recently saw a uh, robots in disguise warrior strong arm in person, and this one has a lot of extra paint detail that really helps bring out some of the just the molded bits and everything. She looks really nice. Um, I got both of them because they've been featured in some IDW comics. And I was like, oh, like I need, <laughs> I really want to pick them up now. Um, and then the last thing, um, I picked up a uh, Titans Return Breakaway to um, begin a custom project. I just um, sent a photo to the Skype call to um, explain a bit as to what the body will eventually become. That explains. Nice. I see. So we'll keep that. I was going to say, you'll get to reveal that whenever you're done. Right. I, I should be getting some of the parts and whatnot in, and then eventually I just need to pick up paint, and um, a repro label sets also come. I don't nice. get it, but if you tell me in the chat, I will get it. I don't know if you're going to get it if you don't get it by that picture. But anyways, I'm a, I'm a very tired woman. Right? Um, Jared. Oh, wait, no, no, not Jared. Jared gets to go last because Jared's awesome. Uh, and how about Chris? Chris, what did you get this week? Um, I didn't get very much. Uh, I got. Well, first, I actually went back to that place in Danville, and they, in the same case where they had my MP10 that I fa that I got there, they had a bag that had the rest of the parts, and I guess they remembered me, so. Um, yeah, I got those for free, obviously. Um, your MP10 Nemesis version. Yeah, MP10B. Yeah. Um, so I have both of I have the other third party head and the original head, which I need a screwdriver for, uh, and a sword, and the instructions in a card. But anyway, I also while I was there, I bought. I also bought the um, uh, movie one uh, Thundercracker, which was based on the movie one Starscream mold. I was going to say, how do you like that? Because that mold's kind of aged. I mean, it's nostalgic. I, I have, I now have all three of the original Seeker jets in movie form with my Deep Space Starscream, my Sky Warp, and now Thundercracker. Nice. Which is your favorite? Um, probably Thunder. That I mean, I mean Sky Warp. Just makes sense. Of the color. I was gonna say makes sense because it's Sky Warp. No explanation needed, really. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Transformers wise, what else did I put in this show notes? I apologize. You um, said that's it. You have one thing that isn't Transformers related, but it's pretty awesome. I got, I got the Marvel Legends Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was playing with at the beginning. If you didn't hear. Oh, yeah, I didn't realize that's what it was. Yeah, I got a couple of things that'll be coming next week, but that'll be next week. So anyway, next person. I'm 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 excited for that Infinity Gauntlet. We saw one when we were roaming around today, and like I want it, but I want it a little cheaper than what mm -hmm. it's retailing for. So we'll see if I ever get one. Uh, I'll go. Well, actually, yeah, I'll go next. I got the rest of Abominus. On a day off from everything, like a day off from the world, it was just me and my girlfriend were going to a water park in Erie. We drove up there for the day. 
Uh, nice. And I got to see family, some other family for the day, which was fun too. Um, we happened to get up there a little earlier, earlier than expected. So I was just like, you know what? Let's let's stop at Walmart. I'll check to see. I was really looking for the Marvel Legends Thanos exclusive that they have, which I still have not found. It's really bothering me. Um, and just out of habit, as walking when I was walking by the Transformers, I looked and they had all of the Wave Three Deluxe Terracons and also the uh, Make Amer Make America Great Again list. So without that tampo, uh, Jazz. Uh, I didn't get the Jazz, but I did get both sets of the Terracons because I have one person, <laughs> my friend from Purdue, uh, is Mateo's his name. He's on Twitter now, so you should go follow him if you haven't. I think it's at Mateo something. I don't know, but I'll put out a tweet. Uh, but it's uh, I got him. I got one set for me so I can finish Abominus, and the one set for him because uh, he has a ton of stuff for me, including the the G2 Primus, uh, Inferno, the Wave 3 Voyager, and a bunch of Star Wars Black Series and Marvel Legends. I don't know if there's any other Transformers stuff, but yeah, so I got those for him because I'm in his debt at the moment, so uh, yeah, I was very, very excited to see those, and it definitely topped off an even greater day, so that was fun, and Abominus is so, so good. I cannot wait for some hand and foot upgrades because those will be very nice, but he's still very good right now, so yeah, very happy. Tanner. Yeah. Well, wait, what were you going to say? Um, I was going to say, like, um, for my abominus, since, like, it's imp near impossible to have, um, like, the same colored hands. Um, yeah, that bothers um, me. Yeah, I kept, I kept the um, hands for Ripper Snapper. Um, I, yeah, Ripper Snapper. And um, since um, Black Wings, um, like, little hand thing is um, same type of blue, I just put that one on. Oh, it's still nice. It's still not perfect because um, the Ripper Snapper one is a darker blue than the other, but it's, close. But it's as close as you're getting pretty much gotcha. as of right now. Yeah, so some some upgrades for that will be nice. Which typically I don't buy upgrades, but that is one that I will make an exception for because Abominus is my favorite combiner, so mm -hmm. he gets that. Um, Tanner, what did you get this week? Because you actually got the something this week, literally oh, just hours things. ago. I got two things. Oh, yes, this uh, is true. The first one is um, a figure that, um, well, basically, I don't know how I missed out on this because I've been fiddling around with him for uh, ever since before we started the show here, and I love him. Trigger Happy Titan's Return is great. See, that's why I forced you to buy him. Well, no, because, see, like, I love that what you can do, and you can give him, like, the gun hands. Yep, yeah, with more guns. There's a reason his I name's love... Trigger Happy. <laughs> yeah. I, I am absolutely... I, I love the jet mode. It's like Cyclonus a little bit, but in my opinion, cooler. Oh, you're talking about the Lux Cyclonus? Is that what yeah. you were saying it reminds you of? I, I can see how little bits of how that would remind you of it. Not exactly, but like, yeah. There well, are I mean, you've got, the, you've got the um, reverse wings. Uh-huh. And it's just got that look to it. I got gotcha. you. But, um... And also the color, but I know Cyclonus was more purple, but uh, you get what I'm saying. But uh, the second thing I got, uh, it's not a figure, no. It is a little rectangle um, that gives me the ability to drive a car. That's right, ladies oh and gentlemen. Oh my god. I got my driver's license. I hope that makes everyone who's listening feel old. Also, congratulations, Tanner. Good job. Yeah, yeah. seriously, dude. Rock on. So that is, even though I love Trigger Heavy, I, I do. I think he's an amazing figure, and I don't know how I didn't get him until now, and he's easily my favorite Titans Return figure now. Um, yeah. Yeah, driver's license is way more. <laughs> he got yeah, it for $8 get, at Ollie's. The trigger yeah, happy. No, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I, I really like trigger happy. I thought you meant the driver's license. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. Oh pay yeah, them no, off yeah. I, I found, I, they found one with my name at Ollie's, man. I found one with my <laughs> face that? and what my name on it. For eight bucks. I'm like, man, is this real? They're like, yeah. I'm like, cool. I'll take it. <laughs> I bought like twenty of them. <laughs> All right. So, last but certainly not least, 
Jared, what did you get this week? All right, I got a few things. Um, first off, I found this guy basically by accident. Um, I was at my um at a uh, shop called the Exchange near me. Um, I was just walking through the aisles. Um, because they have a bunch of, like used stuff that people sell them, and um, basically um, I look up and I see a just a big just jumble of um robot parts, and I'm like. Oh crap! That's a transformer. So I snagged it. I didn't even know what he was, like and I bought him. That shell. <laughs> robot parts. Oh my god! That's a transformer. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so I bought him. I asked for help because I had again I had absolutely. And lo and behold, it's um Transmetals Two Cheetor. Um, it's a pretty nice figure. Well, I say that. Um, for being from his time, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, he's all right. Um, definitely not the great a figure at all, but, but yeah, um, he is missing some parts. He's missing both of his weapons and that's basically it as far as I know. And also like, um, his, like one of his like elbow spikes, um, they were, it was like very, very bent. So I just had to fix that. Um, next up. I got Studio Series Crowbar, so I finally have um, all of Wave 1 for Studio Series, which is awesome. Yes, so you can expect possibly a podcast, a new type of podcast, based on Wave 1 of Studio Series. But there's a little bit more to come of that. You'll see. We have a special little thing coming. Yeah. Next up, I did. Um, get while we were at Ollie's, um, Titans Return Blitzwing. He was only 12 bucks, and I got him, and he's a pretty nice figure. I actually really like him a lot. I never got a chance to pick him up because I could never, just never was able to find him. And yeah, he's pretty nice. And now the main event. Um, I bought something. Drum roll. <laughs> he's teased us all week for this. Like, he's yeah, been, he got something, but wouldn't tell us what it is. Yeah, I've been teased. I've been teasing everybody for pretty much the entire week. Chris already knows because we had, because I had, because I originally thought that she wasn't going to be on this week. Yeah. Get ready. Bang! You can't see it. There he goes. Oh. I got, I got ah. Beast, Beast Wars Shadow Panther. He's still in the box. Yep. In the Japanese it's box. Sealed in box. The question is, are you going to open it? Nope. Jared, oh, you wow. are aware that uh, there was a masterpiece that like just did it just come out or is it about to come out? I think it's about to. Yeah, it's I did see that. I feel like you have to get that now, Jared. I feel like I do as well. <laughs> I very well might. I was thinking that as well. <laughs> the the this is this is why you should never get into collecting. <laughs> The heck you, you say? Just justify it because oh, I got this. That means I have to get this. Oh, I have to get this. Which, yeah, need you to buy every single last um, Decepticon that forms into a jet. It's like drugs, man. Just, you just reminded me of a conversation I had with a host of a gaming, uh, of an owner of a gaming store near me. <laughs> I, I'll just be quick if it's okay. Mm -hmm. Go for it. He loves collecting Star Wars and a bunch of different things, but mainly Star Wars. Uh, he was never into Funko. He, he, he never got into Funko Pops because he knew how to get them. But he was being at a convention and there was a seller that was like, that was their last convention, last day. They were like, just take it. I just want it gone. He got a bunch of Star Wars Funkos and he like goes to check how many Star Wars Funkos there are because there can't be that many, right? He checks there's 280 Funko Star Wars Pops, Funko <laughs> Pop Star Wars. And he's like, darn it, where am I even going to put them all? <laughs> and I, I think he got roped into buying every single one of them, or is working on it at the very least. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. Uh, is that everything, though, that we got this week? Yeah, I'm just very, I'm just happy that I actually got him. And I got, I um, ordered um, Shadow Panther before I even found, um, Transmetal 2, Cheetor. So I'm like, so whenever you, I saw them, 
Jared, my advice to you is get Transmetal 1 Cheetor. He's easily the best figure of a three. <laughs> does does he have the chrome flaking that is typical of transmetals? I'm going to guess yes. I was going to say, if he's a transmetal, then almost definitively yes. On his shoulder, yes. He has a lot of chrome flaking just because of... Um... Oh, no, he, he's talking about transmetal one, not two. Not the uh, one you have. Yeah, different one. The one um, you have probably isn't as bad because it probably doesn't have as much chrome as the transmetal one. You have transmetal two. Fine. Word of advice, if you do go looking for it, just find one that's out of the box for years that should probably most of the chrome flaking that would have happened have happened already. Or just find one that's in box and never open it. That is also true. I made that mistake with a Transmetal... Tra well, actually, that was Transmetal 2. Transmetal 2 Prowl. Uh, I see. Yep. Yeah, if you're gonna... Like, I'm not one for getting figures and not opening them, but if it's something like that and you don't want any damage to it, then that is one of the scenarios where I'd be like, yeah, just don't open the toy. Like, if you really want it that bad, and you don't want it to be in a bad condition, just just don't open it. Same thing with anything with gold plastic syndrome. Yeah, which is... G2 Slingshot is the only thing that comes to mind that I would ever want. No, 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 Transmetal 1 Megatron. Yeah, Transmetal uh, and, 1. And, uh, oh, Beast stuff. Wars 2 Randy. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Because everyone wants Randy. <laughs> what dude, his name is Randy. Because his spring will just break him in half. It's um, not a million pieces. But anyways, getting on to the big stuff we have for this week. The big things mm. are... No, no, no. The big thing is now Beast Wars Randy, okay? Nope. <laughs> Silence, Tanner. You're done. The whole podcast just about Randy. Oh, that would be great. never, ever going to happen. But anyways... Uh, the big thing we have for this week is basically SDCC reveals. Uh, we, well, no, no, okay. SDCC exclusive reveals. Need to rephrase that. I was going to say. Primal. SDCC it's did not happen. It didn't happen yet. So, uh, you know, we're just now finding out what the exclusives are. Now, we know two of them. It's very, it's possible there's only two. I'm, it, it's also very possible that there's three. So there could be a third one that we won't know about till either next week or until the convention. Who knows? But right now we know of two of them. Uh, let's let's just go over the. F both are very cool, and both are very weird, but I I think both are very cool. So first off, the first one revealed was a Studio Series Bumblebee that is gold, and it's supposed to be painted. Is it supposed to be painted somewhat like a cassette? No, I think it's supposed to be an '80s deco, and makes me honestly think a lot of Gold Bug. Yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure what... I thought someone said that the, the paint job was supposed to emulate a certain cassette or something, but... I don't think so. I didn't hear about that, if that's the case. I heard so. someone say that, but I think they may have just been like getting their words mixed up when talking about the rest of the set, because it's a gold Bumblebee with a slightly different paint job. It's the Studio Series Bumblebee. But um, the main attraction to this is that it comes with two... These are from G1, Correct. Dino yeah. cassettes, but they were they're head ma headmasters. Yeah, headmaster Dino cassettes. Wait, they are cassettes though, right? Yeah, they are cassettes, but they're from the Japanese headmaster yeah. series, and they're two dinosaurs. Yeah. And they they only they only got one release, right? They're the colors are different with this, but still, it is like yes. Is this the first American release of those molds? Yes, that's nuts. Yeah, they're part of the late. They were like the last wave of Headmaster stuff released alongside more notably Ricochet and Artfire. Uh, and, and there were there were four cassette molds. So th these are just yes. two of the four that exist. The um what is it? The right now it's um Dinosaur. Zor, but Zor's not called Zor. What's he called? I forget. U Uraz. It's basically Zor Uraz. The Japanese back the Japanese name backwards. Uraz is in clear orange in this release while um the other one whose name i don't remember is straight up just a reissue uh dairu yeah or dial in the u.s so, i feel like that for some people getting the molds perfectly fine for the people who want the specific colors it's like half your set is okay and also oh. i think uraz is a decepticon Yes, because Uraz is, for whatever reason, a Decepticon and a photo-negative coloration of the original Zaru. And it's also really weird because those two combine together. So, this is just... It's very weird, but it's very cool. I don't... 
I want to say, is it sixty to get that set? So you're paying sixty dollars. It is sixty dollars mm-hmm. to get the set. And of special note, uh, those two characters, Dairo and Uraz, are movie characters now because this whole box set, which is fully titled the Bumblebee, uh, the Bumblebee Volume One Retro Rock Garage, is labeled number nineteen of the Studio, studio Series. Studio series. So studio. If you, so studio. if you are collecting the studio series, if you're paying attention to the numbering and you're collecting every single one, you need an SDCC exclusive. This isn't the yeah. only SDCC exclusive that's going to get on people's nerves for completion's sake. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that is the first one, and I gotta say, I find it very cool, and I really like it. And I am going to try to get that set. The yes. second exclusive, I am going to, I am going to obtain like like that Bumblebee set. I'm going to try to, and I think I'm going to get it, but I'm not 100. percent I'm I'm going to try, but this this I'm going to get no matter what the cost. <laughs> no matter the cost. <laughs> um, and it is what was just it was revealed today as of this recording, uh, July 2nd, 2018. Um, is what it what's it called? It's the, the throne, title the throne Prime. of the prime yeah, yes throne, throne of, the, of prime. the primes which includes a optimus primal but this is not a normal optimus primal this is the leader class uh primal prime that we're getting which is you know the deluxe optimus Optim- primal <clears throat> wait what did you say is it optimal optimus? optimal optimus <clears throat> I th- wait so primal prime okay never mind i i get them the uh what you call it so confused the name's so confused yeah. on this too but the optimal optimus um, that one is what we're getting in the main line, but we are getting this in, we're getting that in the, um, Optimus Primal Season 1 colors. So it's that body, it's his, it's his third body, but with his first body colors, like the gorilla type colors, with the, you know, like the black, the white thighs, the red, a little bit of red and stuff. So it looks weird. He also has a giant crown on his head. Uh, he has a normal matrix instead of the blue matrix with the maximal symbol on it. He also has what? What are we going to call that? Is it a, a staff? There's an official term. It's the scepter of sparks. There we go. Which can hold prime masters. Speaking of which, this comes with a cardboard throne, but also a little plastic wheel in the back that holds prime masters. Which this comes with four of, I believe. Yes, four. four. This comes with. The last three Prime Masters out of the 12. And then it also happens to come with the 13th, which we were not aware we were getting in this toy line because it was said that the from the very beginning that, you know, there are the 12 Prime Masters, but the 13th Prime is just whoever has the Matrix, and that was the whole gimmick with the leader classes. Well, apparently we are getting the 13th Prime, and it still kind of fits in because the 13th Prime, like when he transforms into his, I just call it rock mode. I know it's not a rock. <laughs> um, it's, it's a Matrix core. Now, Optim- uh, Optimus Primal does have his own matrix with its own matrix core, but you can still put in the 13th to become the matrix core if you want because it is exactly what he resembles. Uh, his little... Uh, did, what, what did you say it was called? The Scepter. The Scepter of Sparks can hold yes. four Prime Masters. They have to be standing, though, so it's a little weird. Um, in it... Also, the, the throne has, as I mentioned, the several spots to put the Prime Masters in and stuff. And Oh, it also, it's, another weird thing, it has um, the faces of the other contenders for the Prime vote, which Optimus Prime won. Like, it has all the losers' faces on that throne. You know, it's <laughs> just shock, visages of Shockwave, Pound, RC, Magnus, Megatron, Megatron De- Death, Death Source, Source, Star Saber, yeah. Which is what really makes me think that this is like an alternate universe, like Emperor Primal. I just, I really feel like this it, is like Emperor Primal. Me this is, uh, this is the Thanos project. of the Transformers. Yeah, really. He has like he has the Prime Masters he, and the weapon that he can just use to control the universe. I feel like this is Optimus Primal as Thanos. <laughs> also, can I mention that the 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 the, the place to store the primes in it, it has a specific name. It's called the Halo of Primus, even though it's basically like a plastic tray that just holds the twelve. Primes yeah, I'm I'm place. assuming can it can probably can it rotate, or is it attached? Is it attached to the throne? I don't know. Is it attached to the throne? I don't know. I bet it rotates. It looks like it is because on the like um, in the packaging, but in the out of package slots, is it attached to it or no? 
It looks I'm like it because I'm seeing images on TF formers. Gotcha. And, uh, oh, by it, the just to clarify, for those who were hoping for the small deluxe primal, because in the in the retail version, it is season one primal is the small deluxe, and then you know uh, optimal optimus has his normal colors in the bigger body. Uh, people were hoping that the since it's the Optimus Primal colors in the uh, bigger mode, that it would be like Transmetal 1. I know TFU.info was saying it was what he hoped the small deluxe would be, or, you know, something else to homage. It's still just the normal colors. It's just a smaller body. So uh, don't get excited there if you think it's going to be something special. Um, granted, even though that is different, I still really like it. How do you guys feel about this exclusive okay before we talk about what we don't like about it do you like which is obvious the prime masters how do you guys feel about the figure itself do you like it it's very weird there's no denying that this is a very yeah. weird thing but oh no I, did I you really for, like did it. you mention he's got a crown yeah, it's yeah. A very weird, which by the way okay, does it, it has the maximal symbol on it for those who are uh and we're pretty sure it's removable i i don't want to say we're 100 percent sure but Miguel, you said you were pretty sure that in the one photo for jet mode that it didn't have the crown on. Yeah, um, when there's a good shot of him from over top where he's in jet mode, and you see where the robot mode head folds into, and there's no... You can't see the crown, and I wouldn't see how the crown would fit in that spot. Which makes me curious where the crown goes. Yeah, I'm curious if it'll have swords or not. I don't know. But the Prime yeah, Masters we'll look magnificent. Prime. These are my favorite Prime Masters. I don't know about you guys, especially Prima. Like, that paint looks really good. Prima looks amazing. God, I, I love this set. I don't love that this is an SDCC exclusive set, but I really no. love this set. Yes. Part of me hopes that this ends up being one of those SDCC sets that, like, um, shell forms overseas. Like, they release it everywhere else. Mm -hmm. at retail and then it just it just sits so then there's just like tons of flood ebay i'm not going to wait for that to happen oh, oh neither will i would, yeah Me but neither. that would be nice because I, I you know what i wouldn't mind having another one to keep in box if they did eventually do that yeah, yeah i'll get one and then if i can get a hold of another one i'll get i'll get that and keep it in the box i'll yeah. get three so as I could have three maces to hold all 12 primes. <laughs> but no. what figure can hold three maces? It doesn't matter at that point. Oh, because he's, got, he's a monkey, so he can use his... He can totally use his feet, right? Right? Uh, <laughs> no, you crazy Dutch bastard. He can okay. also fly. He can fly in his monkey mode, I think, maybe. This is true. <laughs> but, oh, but just to verify, yeah. the, the plastic tray for the uh, Prime Masters, it does uh, stay on the throne. I just found it a shot. It doesn't rotate? It. No, no, no. I meant that, like, I, I was wondering if it was a separate piece. It was just behind it in the box. It is 100% attached to the throne, which yeah. you can take out, by the way, sort of like the Studio Series backgrounds. It has, like, yeah. vines on it and stuff. I, I really dig it. I'm not going to lie. It's it's so freaking weird. But imagine really, imagine really like this it. is an RC, as the RC, if RC won. In a monkey body, Imagine like specifically in the monkey one. in the monkey body. No, like don't even think about if they got like their own leader class toy and like how that would make sense. No, just think about it with their head on the monkey body. Shockwave monkey. Yes. I, I want I want, I want monkey shockwave now. Yeah, Shock okay. monkey. Customizers out there, that's your challenge. If you want to get on the show, uh, for a week, just make no. monkey shockwave. Don't 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 make promises. Yeah, you, you say, don't make promises. You don't have the power. You'll get on my show. You'll get part, on my show. <laughs> part of me wonders if um, how how long ago they thought up of this idea. Because let's assume that Star Saber, who probably was the figure or the character they thought was going to win, since the entire leader class gimmick is Star Saber's gimmick. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Imagine if we had gotten Pope Star Saber. <laughs> That would be so that IDW. Only, yeah, it would. Only if that crown was a Pope hat. No, it would have like they could have. They would have made Pope Star Saber. That's the thing I see here. It's like, yep, this was Pope Star Saber, and when it didn't work, they're like, all right, monkey, uh, monkey Emperor Primal. Okay, but question: What colors would they have given it? Would they have just given it the same colors as just the gold head? Maybe. Or maybe maybe do them in all like an up and all white with like 
um, just the gold and like the red accents and like just go full on like Pope. I don't know. I, I <laughs> but the the elephant in the room that we've mentioned but not really talked about is for anyone who is collecting Prime Masters, which I know is a lot of people. Um, yes. You have to now, get this. Okay, so I just I do want to clarify that we know right now, as of right now, at least one other figure. Who comes with a Prima Prime Master? Um, is, it, Rep- is it Repugnus or Counter Counterpunch. Counterpunch. So Counterpunch. Repugnus comes with Solus. Okay, but Solus and then uh, Blastoff comes with Megatronus. So Blastoff yeah. is, is going to come with a Prime Master, and so is uh, Repugnus, but both of theirs are... They're clear plastic versions. They're special versions of ones we are getting in Wave 3. So the ones we're already getting. Now, yeah. one Prime Master from this set so far is going to get another release. It's just in the clear colors, so it won't fit in with the other yeah. Prime Masters. But it will at least. That mold will get a release. Uh, but we do not know about the other two plus the 13th. As of right now, this is the only release for them. And unlike those special edition deluxes, which are having the special Titan, the special Prime Masters, where those are clear plastic, these are not. These are yeah. regular Prime Master versions. They just have like they have nice paint, but it's nothing like very different. So they are meant to be the regular versions of the Prime Masters. So unfortunately, they also don't have any shells. So yeah, which I am. I, I wish they did, like, but I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I, I would prefer they had shells, but I'll live. Yeah. I so, won't. <laughs> me neither. Also, just of note, because I saw this conversation happen on Twitter, I just don't know which ones are which. Someone did figure out that the mostly that they are all based on existing molds. The Prima Amalgamous and Nexus are just straight up repaints of other Prime Masters available. With, with the um, new primes, like the rock on the back. Yeah. Yeah. They and then the symbol. team is um, amalgam an amalgamation of the of Metal Hawk and the Prima design from the Marvel U.S. comics or U.K. comics, U.K. Hmm. This, this which is notable because he's got the same colors as that version of Prima, which is very weird as he's the thirteenth. Is he though? He's supposed to be. That's what the box says. That's what this, this info says. Is he? All I know is that I'm getting this 100 mm-hmm. percent because because I literally hunted down for all like the um, individual like 12 prime prime cards that I have all my prime masters standing in front of right now that I own. So if whenever I so whenever I hopefully get this, I will have all of them standing in front of their proper prime card. Yeah. Here's a question. You think this set will come with prime mass prime cards? Oh. Ooh. Maybe it comes with its own exclusive. Maybe it comes with a thirteenth prime card. Oh, I thought I was just about to say that. Yeah, maybe it comes with. The I bet it doesn't. I think that would be cool, but if I had to bet right now, I would say I bet it won't. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I want but to I'm going to say if it did, it might be something similar to what we know Predaking's going to comes with, with the, just like a full sheet of all twelve primes. Wait, does Predaking come with a full sheet of all twelve primes? Well, I think it's a full sheet of all 12 primes with designs. That's how we knew there were designs for the three missing primes. Oh, yeah. But I think I think it's actually just what their bios, at least for the ones that got regular retail release, are. Uh-huh. Wait, does, because I know, like, so does Predaking not come with a card? No. Oh. I don't I I think. I think it might be a po- and I, th- I think that might be the reverse side of a poster. Gotcha. Oh, like, think, oh Predaking. That, 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 makes, that would make sense. Yeah, but that reminds me. I still need to hang that. I want this so much, and I'm so mad at Hasbro. I am too. I'm. I'm kind of curious if this will be hard to get or not. I don't yeah. know. Oh, it will be. It's can like, I? Can I just say? Up. Wait, what'd you say? Can I just say what I think would have been the best way for Hasbro to do this, especially with the whole to use the power of the primes gimmick? Mm-hmm. Have two six pack box sets basically uh, with each of the primes half autobot half deceptic whatever you want to splice it with their suits 
and just have them available at the right at the start so everyone can have the primes and then you can interact with all the primes from the very beginning. That's what probably would have been best for the set with how they wanted to market it. I know they want the five dollar price point, so that's fine, but I don't understand why this happened. That the last three we need are convention exclusive. Uh cause because the Prime Masters don't matter that much in terms of like their of them making money, so that's why I don't think they care so much about like, oh, we need to make sure they all get out. Like they had enough for the gimmick to work. That's my uh, guess. That's, I don't know. The gimmicks to have all of them. But well, I'm that, a sound jack. I don't because know. all all characters come can have come with all twelve different cards. Well, no, yeah. I want all twelve, but that's not the that doesn't that has nothing to do with the gimmick. The gimmick is just that they can ride each other and be in the matrix and everything. Like it has nothing to do with all twelve, other than just the fact that the cards have bios for all twelve. But in terms of the actual toys for a kid, it doesn't matter. Mm. But for a collector who wants all twelve primes, yeah, the struggle's real. <laughs> Well, I mean, for, yeah. I mean, like, I still think all twelve of them would be ideal because, like, the whole game, especially with the bios, each one coming with the bios. No, no, no. See, that's the difference. Fiction and gimmick are two separate things. That's fair. That's fair. I that, yeah. yeah that so. distinction, in terms yeah, in terms of the fiction, yes. which if the marketing was a bit better, would be more encouraged. Yeah. So. I totally understand what you're saying. I'm just saying that in terms of like them making the money actual. and selling the toys, it doesn't matter to them. Yeah. So right. that's why. Now, it's still possible we could get them released some other way, but not looking like it. If you really want all the 12 Primes, you better be watching Hasbro Toy Shop for this or have someone lined up at San Diego Comic-Con to get you one because this is looking like it. That's it for now. But anyways. You to come come and pick us up some? Please. Yes, Dave, say, yeah, if you're going to Comic Con and you can hear my voice, I need this guy. That would be and very I'll nice. I'll pay extra. I'll pay extra too. But this that these aren't the only SDCC uh, exclusive Transformer figures there are because there is our next news item is Super Seven X Ray Optimus Prime San Diego Comic Con exclusive figure. What what is this? It's a clear plastic it's... Optimus Prime with a removable torso, removable torso lid, which has his guts that are all colored with the Matrix also in there. This is, we knew this was coming. We knew this was coming since ToyCon, I believe. This is a. This is supposed to be mimicking some Japanese robot toys of the seventies, and at some point, there's also going to be a Megatron one, and that's all mm. I know. Huh. Yeah. Neat. Allow me to rewind back to last week's episode when I mentioned Henshin Cyborg. The reference. Oh, yeah. I wasn't here for that one. I have no idea what he's talking about. I still don't know what he's talking about, but I do remember him making that comment. I was going to say, I, I was there and I barely remember what he's talking about. I know what he's talking about, I just barely remember it. Um, but anyways, moving on to more exciting news. If that excites you... Please tweet at me and tell me like what what it does for you because it just looks weird to me. I'm genuinely I'm curious. I'm kind of excited for it. It looks cool. Does it though? Yes. It's just clear plastic with the colored guts. It's like Ghost Optimus. But like, I'm pretty sure you can see through the torso, so you can just see his guts, and everything else is clear plastic, which is what makes it weird for me. Like, if I'd want a Ghost Optimus, I'd want it to be all see through. But, eh, I don't know. You know uh, what? Different strokes for different folks. The exciting news we have now is that we have mold confirmation on what Repugnus is. Essentially. We don't have Ooh. literal confirmation, but we have in-hand shots of the side of uh, Blastoff's box, which shows, obviously, Blastoff and his teammates in the background. But it appears that these special edition uh, Prime Wars Trilogy Deluxes... Um, are going to have the side of the boxes will all be able to be 
displayed together. Like if you line them all up side by side, uh, they make a picture. So this is Blastoff's part of the picture. Repugnuses will be the second since Blastoff is one for Combiner Wars. Repugnus will be two for Titan's Return because it appears he is using the same mold that his two fellow monster bots are. The Twinferno mold. Win mm. and Grotesque mode mold, obviously, but it was Twinferno first. So, I think most people are happy with that. I'm not I'm not going to lie, like, it'd be really That's weird if he was a Power of the Primes mold and He's not... Just one. It's, it's, I'm honestly, like, it's not the mold that matters so much as rather that he's a, I want him to be a headmaster because the other two yeah. monster bots are headmasters and it'd be really weird if he wasn't. So, I mean, we did know he was going to be a headmaster with his new headmaster partner, Dastard. Uh huh. But now we know which. So it was assumed that like it's very likely. But now yeah. we have pretty much well, like, certain confirmation. We could see the question. Toy, so. And we got where this is all this picture? Topic. Oh wait, there's two pictures. Never mind. Hold on. You can see his thigh and claw in the picture of uh, with, where yeah. he's with Blast. Oh. and that's where, that's where that's that why. is. The claw is like eh, but the the thigh is a dead giveaway that that is definitely the. Uh, which I mean, call, the, the, mold. the claw, I think, more so confirms that it's repugnant, even though there wouldn't really be anyone else that it would be. Yeah, but the, the thigh is what gives away the mold for sure. So yeah. we Almost. have that. So exciting. I'm, I'm very excited for these three special deluxes, and I'm curious if we'll get more. But I, I'm thinking it's just three. I'm thinking that, although it makes me wonder, what the heck is punch slash counter punch going to be a part of? Because I still think it's jazz. I still think they're going to do heavily retooled jazz. That'd be very. I'm very curious to see that. I remember because I remember Eric. You mentioned very early in the year about jazz how he has wrist swivels, despite his. That don't make sense. But if it's but if he ends up being a pre-tool, for counter punch counter punch, suddenly wrist swivels make sense. But does it make sense because he can't use them? Like the mold they're literally like, can't use them. Well, maybe in this new mold he can't. Refill to allow for that wrist rotation. Okay, yeah. then maybe that does make sense. That's true. Basically, to sum it up, Hasbro has plans. And uh, and also to sum it up, we have no idea what those plans are as of now, other than oh. like, we're getting punch slash counter punch. Yeah. Yeah. Moving getting on punched to, in the face. Moving on to some bittersweet news, is uh. In 2016, Transformer Adventure made out of the, uh, what size class is the Optimus? Is it Warrior. Uh, Warrior. Warrior. No, no, this isn't the Warrior. This is the Legion. No, it's not oh, the Legion. Yeah. It's, the, it's the mini cult. It's the Minicon team size class, which didn't have, it, oh, it was well, like Minicon Assault right. Team because they were like about, they were kind of like commander size figures with a Minicon. I'll, uh, I'll I'll run through the wiki to see if I can find gotcha. it. Gotcha. Um, but it's that mold. It just doesn't have a minicon. Uh, but it was a Geoffrey. I keep I always say Geoffrey. It's Jeffrey. But Jeffrey uh, Prime uh, exclusive, which they had Takara did before in 2016, which they are now reissuing. Which, uh, by the way, his axe I never realized this before has silver paint to make the. Uh, on the blade to make the the axe handle almost resemble the head of a giraffe, like the outline of a head of a giraffe. So I might actually, like, I didn't give a crap about this when it came out. Uh, but seeing as how Toys R Us is now dead and just <laughs> the only thing there is a microwave. Um, well, is it dead? Is it, Miguel? Okay, yeah. You know what? We'll talk about that in just a second. Um <laughs> <laughs> but because of what has recently transpired with the store, um, I think I'm actually going to try pretty hard to obtain this figure. Yeah, like, same. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it has, it has a, a sentimental place in my heart now, so... Yeah. Um, also, of course, size class, it's just called Minicon Battle Pack, so... Yep, that, okay, that's what I, I thought. I cry. Although, for some reason, I thought it was Minicon Assault Team. But, anyways, uh, Miguel... That's the that, that I think Minicon Assault Team was the, the the Centurion buds from Generations. Gotcha. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Miguel, would you care to elaborate on why we were saying, why we're questioning Toys R Us's demise? Ah, uh, sure. Um, this is something that I've just noticed uh, over the course of the past week. Um, so at the time of this recording, last week, uh, June. 
29th into the 30th, I think it depended on, on some stores, was the official closing of um, all the Toys R Us stores. Um, I used to work for Toys R Us, and that day, um, some of my coworker and, coworkers and I actually got together and had um, Jeffrey's Wake. Um, <laughs> we celebrated, there were tequila shots. Um, did, you, did you do something with that piece of his corpse you stole? I didn't steal anything. Um, anyway, right. um, one of the things I noticed on the so- on their social media is that they had replaced all of their cover photos, both on their f- Facebook, um, Twitter, and I'm not sure if they also moved it to the Instagram, um, with a little about that this isn't the end of the story for Jeffrey and the, I like, iconic band, with a hashtag, true be- um, Miguel, you're like, oh, yeah, wait, 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 Miguel? Um, Miguel, cease. You're, 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 you're dying. Okay. Repeat. Toys R Us is jamming his signal. They don't <laughs> want this to get out. Yeah, I was going to say, that's a little <laughs> yeah. crazy. God, what, what? Yeah, Miguel, <laughs> you're, 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 you're here. you just got so scrambled, and that that makes me think that Toys R Us is on to us. No. Okay. Oh, He's talking too much. We know <laughs> about the microwave, Toys R Us. We know. <laughs> to, summarize, to summarize what he's what talking about. What's in that microwave? Wave, to though, summarize what, what he's talking about, though, is um, they they posted on their social media, although we're not sure about Instagram, really cryptic posts saying uh, it's the end for now, dot, 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 hashtag T-R-U, be continued. Which, yeah. why? Why? I don't understand. I mean, I know Toys R Us is in clothes. It's all over the world. That's also my thinking, yeah. Like, Canada still exists, but they wouldn't be posting that to their. I don't know. I'm. I yeah, but like the the thing is like how it says it's the end for now. T R U B continued. Whereas like, it's not just like oh we're in other countries, so we're like we're still alive. But like no, it's just the way the phrasing is. I don't know. It just yeah. I I feel like they're having a a Beast Wars ravage moment. You know, kind of Toys R Us forever. Although you know what I just realized is uh, Miguel just sent in the chat, the Big Bad Toy Story isn't even out of stock of the first run of this toy. Oh my God, someone <laughs> grab me one! Somebody, someone seriously grab me one, please. The Thirty-five dollars. Well, I don't. I don't think you're gonna need to rush for it if it's been two years. So I think you're good. I still want one. Thirty-five dollars. I'm, I'm, oh, probably, gonna go, I'm so. probably gonna go buy that later. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but anyways, that's. That's it for the Toys R Us for now. Hashtag bum, TRU bum, be continued. Bum. I genuinely hope we get to talk about them more on our podcast if they have some other stuff to reveal at a certain point. That'd be cool. Watch, um, they'll also have a pop up seasonal toy store just like KB Toys in Party City. That would be cool. You mean Toy City? But, anyways, uh, I, I would. Well, it's run by Party City. I wouldn't, I wouldn't care, in all honesty. Like, and if they sell Transformers, I'll probably buy stuff. I mean, I'll go check, but still, they're probably not going to have anything that good. If they have exclusive, Okay, take that back. If they have exclusives, I'll care. But if they're just pop-up stores, highly doubt it. Yeah. Oh, but oh, moving yeah. on to exciting news. Well, I, I keep saying that. There's a lot of exciting news this week to me. For me. There's oh, one yeah. thing that wasn't that exciting. Um, this is exciting only because it's for a line I'm very, very excited for. Movie Masterpiece. Uh, we have rumors that... On what MPM 08, MPM 09, and MPM 10 are. Is, what's 7? Is that Ironhide? Sounds familiar. No, no. That, that's gotta be, that, that would be I B. Ironhide it? was 6. Yeah, Ironhide 6, which I, so I'm betting Movie Masterpiece 7 is definitely Bumblebee Movie Bumblebee. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> we've do. seen that. We've seen it not in robot mode, but in vehicle mode. Like it's actually been shown off. So. Oh, really? Cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I remember. Yeah. So, the rumors are, which I don't really know the. Oh, they're from one of the sources. I'm on uh, T Formers. The sources are like Baidu.com. I don't know. Uh, but it's just listing somewhere. They're, they're saying that MPM 08 is Megatron, MPM 09 is Starscream, and MPM 10 is Jazz, which would be hilarious that this would be the first masterpiece Jazz figure. Officially. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And honestly, I hope it is. That would be freaking awesome. I hope it has a, a pop joint you know where. <laughs> no! 
I hate <laughs> you. No. You're you are so Screen terrible. Accuracy. Screen accuracy. <laughs> Fair. That would happen. No, she's Oof. banished. You can't you can't talk about that. Eric, she just wanted two. I hate you. I, I deserve that. that. Yep, you did. <laughs> but you're back now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, but I'm I'm very excited for Jazz. I'm kind of curious how big he'll be. Um, Starstream about how Megatron, how big Megatron is going to be. So yeah, that's what I'm I'm and wondering. Starstream. Is that, Starstream is also pr got to be pretty large. So I'm kind of curious of the price point. Although you know what, movie masterpieces are priced really, really well because when Prime came out, which I just got to handle today, which that thing is Same. big. It is. It's really big. Like it is I, rather large. The truck mode isn't that big, but the the robot mode is like giant. I did not. It's, what is it, the like, movie masterpiece? To, Optimus. Uh, kill. Oh, you have him now? No, I got to. I got my friend Johnny has him, so I got to mess oh. with it today, which I'm yeah, definitely gonna go buy one now. It's he is awesome. Uh, so yeah. I'm very curious how big Megatron and Starstream are gonna be. Now we're almost 100% certain, based on what they've said, that this will be movie one Megatron. Which is kind of disappointing because that's literally the least exciting Megatron body, but yeah. it will make for a good movie one display. Because they have done nothing but movie one figures up to this point. And that's well, mm -hmm. uh, well, except Bumblebee movie, but that's you know that's exception, you know, yeah. obviously. So do you um, think Starscream will be movie one, or will they give him his tats? Oh, they are definitely not giving him his tats for his first release. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, now, will we get a redeco of him as Revenge of the Fallen Starscream? I bet we will eventually. I don't think it'll or be repro labels. super soon. Uh, I don't God. think you'll need to wait for well, Reaper labels. I'm I'm betting we will. I mean, Reaper labels might put out a set, but I am certain that we will get that recolor. That's an easy recolor. They will do that at some point. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, I, wonder if I wonder if they'll do it as the other Jets, too. I... I doubt it because we haven't seen anything outside of anything that's appeared in the movies yet. And Correct. Okay, fair. But it's but it's Maybe not impossible. Maybe down the line. I was gonna say if they do, they may down the line start doing because we haven't gotten any repaints from this line so far. No. So so we may start getting repaints later on because you know that's just how that's how the other masterpiece lines have gone where they've done several new characters. Then you get repaints of all the characters. So we're getting yeah, all the fine. new molds. It's very likely that we could get repaints later. I honestly, I mean, once they do Ratchet, there will be the Dark of the Moon Ratchet colors to do. Yeah, and I would really really like a Night Watch Optimus Prime. Like, Ooh. like that would that would. I have it. I have well, it. No, I, I want a movie it. masterpiece. Oh, that. yeah. That's oh what I'm my god. That would be I feel like that would be the peak of just I... movie masterpiece. And there's uh, a lot. Actually, of I movies. would have to disagree. The peak of movie masterpiece is, of course, everybody. Jolt. I thought it was gonna be. I thought you were gonna say dispenser. <laughs> Not gonna. Lie. I was gonna I, say. I, it's I thought actually relevant to something I made in high school. Um, I, I, I honestly thought you were going to say um, movie masterpiece Megatron from Revenge of the Fallen retool to be uh, movie Bisque. Oh, that oh is, my god. That would be the peak. I yes. think you're correct. I think Eric would literally squeal so hard he would turn into a woman. I might, we'd I have to start, <laughs> then we'd have to call him Erica. I might you would die. be a very hairy woman. I would probably just die. If that happened, I wouldn't even get to experience the figure. I would just, the second it was announced, so just, my life would be over. But I just had an idea. Because nothing Should else could compare. That majesty. Don't say he's interrupting me. It's okay. He usually says better stuff. <laughs> I'm kidding. Ooh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I do apologize for interrupting you, Chris. Many times. Don't I will care. cut you off. No, just kidding. That's Sanjak's job. Harrison, <laughs> what were you going to say, though? I was going to say, back in high school, we had to make these collages for a project or something. So I made, like, um, movie style. I made a cliff jumper um, in, the, like, the movie B style. So I would love to see a repaint of movie Bumblebee as cliff jumper. Uh, mm -hmm. That like, was done in the first... Uh... Toy line. Yeah, yeah, the first toy line. I have that figure. Like the deluxe Bumblebee as Cliff Jumper. Are you willing to sell it? It's not complete. I don't think. As and long as all, I, I really don't care. Like it. 
Does it have everything needed to transform and back? I think so. I need and to, I want I need, it. To, I need to find it again. No, I I love it. It's like that's nostalgic to me. So that would also okay. be another repaint I would really really like. Although I find that very unlikely. Yep. But is, isn't it kind of like pink, or like the red is really light? Oh, uh, mine isn't Lightish that red. light. Mine, Lightish mine's red. not really light red. Mine's like a normal red. Donut. I think. Donut. You know, I just thought of. Chris, there's one on eBay for literally for seven bucks. Jared, can you grab that for me? Was I interrupting I'll... people? Again? Yes. <laughs> Sound check. Go I'll... ahead. Stop it! That'll... that'll be part of the. I'll put I'll box some money off Thunder Zeus for you. Sound check. Go ahead. Uh, it, I think what would be nice is if they did the Studio Series bubble being Cliff Jumper colors. Um. Well, they need to do the the mold for Studio Series Bumblebee first. They oh, they need to do it better. Well, no, no, they need to do the right mold. Oh, yeah, that's it's, right. I was gonna say, it's, the... it's based off of oh, his... Camaro. Yeah, I was going to say, it's based off of his Camaro body, like his normal no, no, Camaro no. body that they have not done yet. Hold oh. on. There was a Legends class cliff jumper in the in the 76 Camaro body. I mean, I would take a Camaro, an old Camaro body cliff jumper, but just personally what I owned, the Deluxe... Yeah. was that body so that's the one i want it which i'm surprised we still haven't gotten yet um but looking at the movie masterpiece that's good that the decepticons are getting some love because that's actually that was a question they had actually at one of the comic cons or toy fairs recently i can't remember which is that people were asking like hey uh where are, like when barricade barricade got revealed but we also had we already have Prime B. They'd already revealed we're getting Ironhide and also another movie masterpiece, Bumblebee. People were like, uh, "Where, where are the other movie Decepticons? Like, where, where are the Decepticons for this line?" And the designers are like, "Don't worry. Like, the, the Decepticons are certainly going to get some love later, and that's showing because we're getting the leader and the second in command." Um, so for the first movie, for movie masterpiece, for the Autobots, all we need is Ratchet, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Decepticons. Yeah. Jazz is released. We just need Jazz. So oh, we blackout. So as you gonna say, for Decepticons, we have Barricade. We are getting Megatron and Starscream, which means we need Brawl, Blackout, Bone Crusher. Oh my God, MPM Blackout. I don't oh. even know if I want to buy that. That's gonna be so. Actually, he's not that much bigger than the rest. He's got more parts and stuff. But like, like how the studio it's series with the leader class, but it's smaller. Stupidly large. Oh, yeah. I'm so, so excited for that inevitability. If that happens, I'm kind of curious. Which also, these uh, see once once you finish the first movie, you have a lot of repaint potential because all yeah. those figures got repainted so much. So, in all honesty, I I hope they finish out the first movie's cast, do a ton of repaints because I'll still buy most of them. In all honesty, I won't do that for regular masterpiece movies, but those repaints actually have nostalgia value for me. Which is really weird because they're not they're old, they're old to us, but they're really not that old. But yeah, I have nostalgia for old for first movie repaints. It's weird. Um, yes. And then move on to the other movies. I was gonna say then you can start doing like Revenge of the Fall and Dark of the Moon that kind of stuff. Um, all I know is movie masterpiece Soundwave. I really want. I also really want Studio Series yeah. Soundwave. So I need those things to happen. Okay. Yes. Shockwave with a movie <gasps> masterpiece Drill Beast. Will oh. be the peak, uh, because that's there's no possible. way. There's I know, no I know, way. it's physically impossible. That's the thing. It'd be my, it'd be the size of a house. I was gonna say, Shockwave is already a massive one. Like Shockwave's bigger than Prime, so to have he's his drill beast, like Megatron would, size. Yeah, he would be. He's a, in fact, oh, I think he's literally exactly God. the same height as, as Megatron, if I'm not wrong. But oh my god, that would be so exciting. My husband, masterpiece. Yep. So, Jerry. Well, actually, wait. Um, how do you think oh, wait, never mind. scale wise? How how well do you think Human Alliance Barricade would fit with the movie masterpiece? That's a really good question. Uh, I Human think... Alliance Barricade is pretty good. It's definitely not better than the movie masterpiece. But is the movie masterpiece out yet? It is, yeah. right? Yeah. I just haven't bought it yet. I need to do that. I need it. I need to get it too. Um, Toys for us did get. Did Toys R Us get any before they closed? I don't believe. Not? I don't believe so. But I think. I think on re online retailers got um, barricade though, but I don't think any Toys R Us did. I could be wrong. If anyone knows that, correct me if I'm wrong. 
Um, but speaking of exclusives, not Toys R Us though, because that's not a thing anymore. We have in America. Power of the yeah. Uh, we have or Australia, but uh, we have I... Power of the Primes Nemesis Prime Leader Class Nemesis Prime. It looks like we now know when it's going to be available. Um, so it's on Amazon. Miguel, you're the one who kind of figured this out for us. Do you want to explain it? All right. So um, online, um, the, earlier this morning, actually, um, or, or yesterday, um, people, so the listings for uh, Nemesis Prime along with the other Power of the Primes, uh, exclusives have pretty much disappeared from Amazon. Um, there were some people who were able to save them on their wish lists, so they were still seeing updates. So Blast Stop's photos have shown up on his listing, so now if you look at the listing, it shows um, the actual toy. And then with Nemesis Prime, today or yesterday, I can't remember which, um, a little icon showing... Um, um, the Prime Day logo showed up. So it seems that Nemesis will be available for uh, Prime Day, which is 7-Eleven. Um, at the time of this recording, he's actually... Um, you're actually able to order him if you have an Amazon Prime membership. Um, the only way, though, to access the, the item and actually add it to your cart is if you save nemesis to your wish list or have access to someone's wish list who uh oh and just make sure you do oh no he died again um I, it sounded on my end uh, like he said something ner naughty darn that toys are us that. no he died he died <laughs> <laughs> so you died at the very end again miguel but uh, they don't the, 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 all the all the companies don't want me revealing their secrets um, first, first toy is now Amazon. She's got the insider's knowledge. Yeah. They're after him. <laughs> um, Peace. So yeah, if you if you're listening to this when before the 11th of July of 2018, and you want to get a Nemesis Prime, uh, do some digging on online, either on Twitter or maybe some message boards, and you'll probably find a link. So yeah. That's good. Uh, we're not sure yet if this will only be for Prime members or not. Like, it could be for Prime members the day it comes out, and then there's enough stock, so then afterwards it's open to everybody on Amazon. But, yeah, at this point, we don't know. We just know that if you're a Prime member, you're going to be able to buy this on the 11th, pretty sure. Or if you're not and you have exhausted a free trial, uh, set up a new email account, I was or say, just go a, make a Gmail. <laughs> or if you have a, if you're, if you're about to enter into um, college, or you have just a .edu uh, email, email account, sign sign up for Amazon Student because, or like Prime Student because it, it's a six month trial. Yeah, and the actual, if you decide to go with it, it's cheaper. Although you don't get access to, what is it, Kindle? And I think some things from Amazon Instant Video. I think that's what you lose out on. Yeah. You don't get access to Kindle. You'd think that, like, reading would be something they would include on the student membership. Oh, there goes but... Sound Jack. There goes his internet. Uh, it, are you sure it's not Audible? Or it's maybe it's Audible. I forget. I forget what it is. I remember. I just remember I was looking at it today, and it said something about, like, you don't get access to this book service. And I'm like... So That's weird. Dumb. Yeah. Audible, Audible's by Amazon. Huh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's interesting. That uh, I I know service. their uh, their headquarters is is here in New Jersey. Oh, I didn't realize it was there. Also, I just real. I'll tell you after the show. Um. But anyways, Jared, do you have the show notes pulled up? Yes, I do. All right, it's your time. It's your yes. time to shine. What is our pretty pre-order for this week? Which is really also a news item, but it fits under here. Um, so the pretty pre-order for this week is um, a third-party company's um, like um, upgrade kit for um, Battlecore Optimus Prime, and it pretty much turns him into um, Nova Prime, and it actually looks pretty cool. It looks amazing. I can't remember the name of. The SND04X Mortis upgrade. Kit. Yeah. 
Which, yeah, it turns him into Nova Prime and... Wait, oh Ex Mortis? God, you mean, amazing. like, the Necronomicon Ex Mortis from Evil Dead? No. But anyway... <laughs> oh, wow. The, the robot looks magnificent. The truck mode is glorious because it's basically the same white semi-truck, but with wings. Um, his weapons are cool very cool, looking. Too. Yeah, I was going to say, his robot mode's amazing. But... The the stuff that I didn't realize from before that is seeing these images, which is that I think these are the first color images. It's the first update in a long time that they revealed this forever ago. This is the first in hand images of color, I believe. I think they showed off renders before, but his weapons. He has a nice sword and a scythe, which can also combine because they actually did some work for the combined mode. Like the wings, you can have as wings in the combined mode, or make them into a nice skirt, which I really like. And it also skirt? comes with it comes with a combiner head like a neat Nova Prime combiner head. So it's not just the the one that comes with the mold. It's actually like, you know, new and neat and stuff. So I really, really, really like it. Can't so, right back. I'm very, very didn't excited. The original, didn't the original version of the upgrade kit come with an upgrade head? I mean, a combiner head? Did it? I thought it didn't. I feel, I think it did. Um, I remember I was lo looking up when um when these were dropping, people were sharing pictures again, and like I saw one person who had like customized some of the uh, Combiner Wars limbs so that the combined mode Optimus looked like an Optimus Prime with like red arms and and black legs. I mean black, uh, blue legs. Oh, it did. I'm seeing it now. I think mm -hmm. yeah, it did come that with. Is it. Is it the same head? Let's see. Um, I don't, I don't know if it's the same head. I know the the whole the wings that turn into the wings and skirt are new. Oh um, yeah, for sure. I'm trying to. I'm looking at the combiner head now, and I'm comparing the two of them. I think they might be the same, and it's just painted to look like Nova Prime. It looks that way. They may be slightly different. I'm almost certain they are the same though. But either way, it's a new guys, combiner head. I'm, so. I'm back. I, I found the book. Wait, what book? The, the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. The Dude, we, we talking know, about. Put that away. Lock that up. <laughs> That's Is so this creepy. The long Ex Mortis. Did I? Did I really grab? The... That's so creepy. Anyways, yeah, I'm so freaking excited for this upgrade kit. When's it say it's getting released? September. September. So. Maybe December will get... No, I, I honestly hope that it comes out in September. The wings look like, like they have a decent amount of articulation, too, but, like, oh, my gosh. There was another company if, that was if, doing uh, Nova Prime upgrade for this mold, too, but I don't know if that's ever going to get released. I forget who it was. It was someone else, and it looked massive. Like, it almost redid the entire figure. I can't remember who it was, though. What I'm going to say is that if anyone remotely... Is interested in this kit? Grab a Battle Core Optimus now. Don't do wait. Yeah, wait. do not wait. The, the yeah, aftermarket don't. price will go up. It I will. Right now, it. right now, Battle Core Optimus is about thirty bucks, which it pretty like twenty twenty to thirty, like upper twenties to thirties, which is perfectly fine for an aftermarket price for a Voyager. When this finally settles in, it, it will go up. Gonna be, it's going to be like sixty to one hundred dollars. Yep. Don't wait. Because or everyone's going to me. I already have my Battlecore Optimus. Yep, same. same. I got it when it came out. Same. I just ordered one when this <laughs> kit showed up. When people were like, oh, look, production samples. I'm like, I'm getting that. Yeah, the, the, I, I got I got mine as soon as I finished uh, Transformers Devastation. Yeah, you know what? Transformers Devastation made me so angry because it set up Nova Prime, and I was like, yes, I love Nova Prime! And then we're not going to get a sequel to that game, and we didn't get a Nova Prime redeco out of the Combiner Wars mold like they made us think we would because it was based on that, so... Ugh! But hey, Wait, guys, finally. here, it says I can, it says I can summon a Starscream demon. No, go away, Tanner. Stop it. Stop, stop opening your weird books He's of death. He's got the chin... But, well, I've got the touch. Deal with it. But yeah, so that's the pre-order. I think it's is it, is it sixty or seventy dollars? It's seventy dollars. <laughs> but it turns it into a full-on leader class with more parts than a leader class. So it's I think it is well worth that for how amazing it looks. But I mean, if you don't care for Nova Prime, you're you're not going to care for this because it's just an amazing Nova Prime. So. Definitely go check it out. And as Miguel said, if you're remotely interested in this, 
buy a Battlecore Optimus now. Do not wait. Because although now that I think about it, I think there's I think there was like rumbling of how there might be a KO of Battlecore Optimus coming out because of this kit. Oh really? <laughs> I think I remember that. And so, who knows? Soon enough, like a year from now, there'll probably be a KO of the kit that comes with Battlecore Optimus. This is true. I, I think like it was paint. was it was it is Bezel Bezel Boss? Does that name sound familiar? <laughs> that sounds yeah, right. They're, they're they're another uh, third party company. They were the ones doing the other Nova Prime, which literally replaced almost every single part of the body except for what was it? It's like I think the the like the the fists, like literally just the arms. Everything else is essentially replaced. I'm looking at pictures of it now. It's called Bezel Boss Fanatic Lord. And it, it does, I'll admit, it looks better, but it, it replaces everything, and I don't know if it's ever going to actually come out. So, I am going to get this upgrade kit, and if Beazle Boss releases theirs eventually, I might get it, because it looks really good. But this one looks so much better than even the renders made it out to be. Like, the renders made it out to look good. The, uh, the in-hand images now have completely sold me. I'm getting it for sure. I do hope that Beazle Boss releases theirs, though, because theirs looks fantastic but it definitely looks a lot more idw yeah which in all honesty this one's really good for an upgrade kit bezel bosses could literally be their own figure if they just gave it forearms basically yeah biceps and forearms that's the only thing it really uses from the combiner wars figures so yeah but anyways that's a that's a different figure so who knows we should we should get shirts made that just says biceps and forearms (laughs) we really should (laughs) how are the forearms and yeah. then so had something has something Eric relate. Actually, no, biceps and forearms, but it's bisque, like flexing or something. <laughs> wait, wait, what if what if we do like long sleeve t shirts? <laughs> the so forearms, it's the appropriate parts. That's actually that would be pretty funny. And just stop the correct forearms of Optimus. <laughs> oh man. But anyways, moving on to the question of the week. Chris, I'll read the question of the week just because I I didn't send you this one. No, I see it. I no, no, it's not, it's not that. It's not that. So, that's just... No, I just this, hey, this is so my remember. thing. No, this is no, my I thing. No, I gotta do it this week. You get to do it next time. It's okay. You, you can miss it <laughs> that, one I'm... time. It's fine. But, um, so the full question is, it's from at HMRC4EVR, which is Don, Headmaster Don from Radio Free Cybertron. If you're not familiar, uh, it's a good Transformers podcast. But anyways... He asks, why is Bisque so overrated as a character and a toy? I mean, it's not bad, but it's not that great either. Bludgeon is a much better looking figure. Don, you're wrong. (laughs) Also, he's not overrated because he's not that popular. Just because I'm obsessed with him and got uh, got several other people to say that he's cool doesn't mean he's overrated because... No one else really likes him that much because no one knows who he is. I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna be frank. I've I've yeah, I've raised awareness he? for him, but he's he's definitely not too. overrated. If if most people don't know who he is, so we Jer- me and Jared actually introduced someone to Bisk in a Cards Against Humanity game. Oh Where yeah. Where did you go? I don't want to know what the card said. Bisk. It, 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 it was on, it was before the game started. We were just talking about stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I, is does anyone else have anything else to add? I feel like that's a pretty solid answer. That he, he's not, like he's I, not over. He's an awesome toy, but because he's also very different. There's literally nothing like him, just because he's a freaking lobster transformer. But he's not overrated because he's really not that popular. I just get people to talk about him because I'm I have an obsession. Uh, you do, Eric. At least you at least you admit it. <laughs> oh yeah, it'd be insane if I didn't admit I had a, a bisque obsession. Um, which started out as a joke. Like, it was a joke from me at first, too. Like, I didn't care for him, and then I don't know what happened. I don't know. <laughs> I have no recollection of when it happened, but I was turned. I was turned by the lobster ball. You're, 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 you're patient zero. You're of the church of the bisque, and now you must per- <laughs> his glorious wisdom, yeah, great like, awesomeness like, to everyone. <laughs> and we oh. have... We have at least alerted Hasbro to the glory of the bisque through our overwhelming yes. push of TFU.info's uh, Hall of Fame vote. And uh, <laughs> he did he did Scally. make he did make it into the nominations for T formers for their vote for nominations, but he did lose. But he at least was one of the contenders. He got enough votes for it. I think he got thirty three votes on the T formers site, 
which, wow. which was the losing thing. But still, I'm like, hey, 33 people decided to vote for Bisk. That makes me happy. That would not <laughs> have happened if we didn't try. So, yay, team. Uh, we are actually going to try to get Bisk to win next year. I'm going all out. Like, this was just a test run and to see if like we could get interest. Votes. I'm going to go full-on campaign mode next year, and Bisk is going to get nominated. It's my life goal. But anyways. Uh, make question. the Hall of Fame we great do. again. We're, we're, we're going <laughs> to make, we're gonna, we're gonna make, make Hasbro regret it. Yep, they're going to be like, they're why did build we... build a wall around us. They, why they, did they, we were it? they were fine with it for a rector, and then they're just going to be like, okay, no, you've ruined Perfect. it. Oh, more fun. <laughs> no, you know what? I feel like if a rector can make it in, Bisk can make it in. Like, come on. It's not I'm even sorry, a dirty what's joke. What's his it's name? Funny. You heard it. Oh my! Anyways, continue. Hey, hey, you, know, you, know, you know what's right too. He's a micro master. Don't want. Don't. I hate you. I don't want I any have, commentary. We're continuing on. No speaking. I have, a, nope, I have nope. a question of the week too. Okay, what's your question of the this week? This one's for everyone but Eric. It's got to be short. Why is Eric a butthead? Because I didn't want to write out the whole question. He long. is the bestest. <laughs> person ever and it's not because he is holding oh, me a gun i was just gonna say someone, someone's up. trying to suck oh you you think i'm holding you hostage okay i thought you were trying to suck up there we go oh. that makes sense he is holding us hostage well yeah. i mean he did threaten me with uh, with uh with a, ra a shack wave at the beginning of the show so that is true no one else opened I... the call uh zeus opened the call then but um I was I was holding my shack wave uh, at the camera whenever he answered the call and told him to put his hands up, which he did. So I'm glad you complied, Sound Jack. You're gonna find that shack wave missing one day. Oh, uh, that, yeah. you, you'll never get my shack wave. But Tanner, you may have a gun, but I have a book. No, stop, Tanner. Do your thing. What is the random quote Ooh, of the week? My thing. Okay. It's different this time. Yes. Because oh yes, yeah. lady and gentlemen. This quote of the week is a very special one because it comes from our own Jared. From the, I believe it's the sixth or seventh live stream. It's not a live stream. Stop saying that. But anyway, it comes from Jared. We hung out yeah. today and he yeah. said this in person while we were all there and all of us were just, just shocked. Yes. Now, uh, it happened... Um, no, don't give context. Just say it. Just say okay, it first. Yeah. So, Jared um, brought along Perukil. No, I said don't give context. Say it first. Oh, okay. The quote of the week is... Jared... Hey, that's a nice die-cast butt flap. Yeah, he said... No, no, he said, I love his die-cast butt flap. Oh, yeah. I love his die-cast butt flap. Now, you may be thinking... Jared's, Jared's kind into some weird, weird stuff, and if and if you're thinking that, you know what, you're probably right. No, I'm just you kidding. Are, right. However, yes, he is. in this I case, can vouch for it's that. actually a bit different because he was talking about Perukil, which is a third-party lockdown. Um, now, unfortunately, that doesn't really help his case because he's saying, "I love his butt yeah, flap." Yeah, I was gonna say he was just checking out to a toy robot. Butt flap, so, I, but yes, yeah. there's Jared, a I'm, I'm adding that to the deck. I love his diecast butt flap. Yes, if you weren't aware, uh, Chris and Jared have been testing out a uh, Steel City Bots Cards Against Humanity deck that they've been making. So, I gotta admit, I think that's uh, pretty fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and add that right now. Actually, I, I just go gotta... for it. So, but this week's mascot. I, I really want to say that it's diecast butt flap bisc, but no, it's SDCC exclusive bisc. I want to say with like with a bisc prime master. I feel like we've done that one before, haven't we? Or nope, because when no, we've done SDC, no, that's right. Yeah, that's and it comes with a Bisc Prime Master, which you can only get with the SDC exclusive Bisc. So there's that. <laughs> what power does the Prime Master bestow upon uh, any who bear it? Uh big meaty claws. Anyway, <laughs> does he also come with a with a gaming throne? He comes with uh, like a. Atlantis, like like a throne from Atlantis. That's what it looks like, with like Ooh. little crabs and lobsters all over it. But anyways, Miguel, do your thing. Miguel, yeah. are you alive? Um, oh, he is. Also, yes. 
Um, also on Nerdy Geek Talk this week, Anime Overdrive episode 3. The Lost episode. I forgot to put that in there. Um, this It was recorded a long time ago, and I <laughs> genuinely... I think it... The last episode you did was about JoJo, right? No, we did an episode about JoJo, and it didn't get posted. Yes, this is that. Oh, yes. Okay. So it's about JoJo, if you're curious. I didn't really yeah, write the Lost answer. episode when they haven't posted anything. Well, they since. had two episodes. So this is the Lost episode that has been gone for months that really should have aired, but I wanted to keep them on a on a uh, loop, but they never did another episode. So I just, I wanted to post something this week. So that is what got posted before the show. Anyways, um, if you like this show, you can share it out with your friends and such. Steel City Bots from the Nerdy Geek Talk Network. Uh, Cause this show does go up every week. Other shows, maybe not, but Hey, once I'm back in school, everything else will get on a regular schedule. Although we should get some other stuff like uh Holocron Herald, I tried to get it up. The file was being weird. So that should have also gone up this past week uh, because I have one recorded. It's just the file's being weird. So I need to see if I need to re-record it or something. But anyways, there's that. Uh, So hopefully it'll get up this week. But anyways, this show, as always, is up on the Nerdy Geek Talk Network, which you can check out by following at Nerdy Geek Talk or at Steel City Bots for this show on Twitter or Instagram. Nerdy Geek Talk isn't on Instagram, though. That's just Twitter. Steel City Bots is, which is very entertaining, so I recommend you check that out. Um, as of the time of this posting, there should be some f- a couple of funny pictures on the Steel City Bots, both Twitter and Instagram, from our hangout. Not of us, just of some dumb things we did while we were at yeah. a restaurant. But anyways... Um, you check out those. Also, you can find this show by subscribing to Nerdy Geek Talk on all your podcast places. Uh, iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, uh, and Podbean are the ones I can think of. So Nerdy Geek Talk there. Um, personally, you can find me at Eric Crowbar on Twitter. Uh, you can also find lots of pictures of me drawn by Sean which I retweet on the internet every day, pretty much. They're of dawn every day, but I'm in almost every single one. So, They're yes. photos that go out on the internet. <laughs> yes. If you don't watch Radio Free Cybertron, that doesn't make sense, but it's funny. Uh, also, you can find me at Aramis Prime on Instagram, where I have gotten in the habit of posting some more Bisque pictures and in the Transformers Facebook Bisque groups. At, yeah, Bisque Chers. I might steal that. But anyways, um, the Transformers Facebook groups, pretty much any of them I'm in. I post those there, too. So check me out any of those places. Uh, Chris, where can people find you? You can find me on Twitter at Sona, at uh, Soza Productions. I'm not on that one very much, but I'll see it if you tweet stuff at me. Sure. Um, and I have my, my YouTube is Sonozawa Productions. Also, Eric, I'm on the YouTube channel right now for Nerdy Geek Talk, and I'm not seeing Anime Overdrive. Shh. Be quiet. Oh, it'll be posted after this episode, won't it? Okay. Yeah, no, it, no, no, no. Now. It'll be posted before this episode goes up. It's getting posted within minutes. So. Okay. So. I, I kind of lied, but it, it as of anyone hearing this, it is up, just so you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My uh, no, you're good. You're good. Uh, Soundjack, where can people find you on the interwebs? All right, you can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at Soundjack426. My YouTube channel is a toy review channel, predominantly Transformers. Um, the reviews have been slow and coming because things are weird for me. Um, hope I have a review recorded, not actually of Transformers, um, but of something that is very new and recent and in my field of interest. I don't know if it's for field of interest of a lot of people, but uh, you'll just have to wait to find out whenever I post that video. I've also got a couple of vlogs I've been behind on, and I hope to get at least one of those out soonish. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram where I post photos of my toys, though, since I haven't been reviewing any recently. I haven't been posting any photos too, too recently. But I've also been active on Twitter, and you can just come over and say hi if you want. Hi, Sound Jack. Also, speaking. Oh, hi, so- oh, hi Sound Jack. I talk way too much. No. Way too much. But uh, speaking of his reviews, there will be something mainly with him and this channel with reviews. 
which you'll find out more about within the next week or two. Hopefully, we'll have it done. So it'll yep. be something involving Studio Series Wave 1, and it'll be a new thing for us. So to keep your eye out on our network, as I mentioned, Nerdy Geek Talk Everywhere, for that within the next, literally within the next week or two max. I'm hoping within the next week, but definitely within two weeks. That is going to happen without a doubt. Uh, uh-huh. So <laughs> did you just say, oh? No, I said all right. Oh, I thought you, I thought you were like, oh, yes, I'm mandating. It's happening within two weeks for sure. But uh, okay. Jared, where can people find you on the interwebs? You can find me mainly at Jared Brook on Twitter. Um, that's where I'm at basically all of the time. And just recently, I have started um, posting pictures on my Instagram, and you can find me there at Brockjar00. Um, and pretty much what I do is um, I play off of um, Eric's little hashtag desk bot, and I've made... Rip I have, off. Uh, I'm sorry. Knock <laughs> off. It is an, it's an oversized KO of, <laughs> of um, no, it's the different. desk bot. Say it's different for sure. Yeah. It's, it's the GoBots to Eric's Transformers. Mm. Nah, it's cooler, because his is a <laughs> night bot, which, man, those things True. look so cool. I love them. Do you post those on Twitter, too, or no? You no, should. I'm. Go- I might. I'm probably gonna start doing that soon, though. Gotcha, because yeah. they're really cool, and more people probably see them on Twitter. But if you're listening, definitely go follow him on Instagram because those are worth seeing. They're freaking cool. Jared, put them on MySpace. <laughs> okay. You, Tanner, don't talk. Put them on Napster. I don't even know what that is. I, I MySpace is on uh, Yahoo it's Answers. The first Iron Man movie, right? Oh, that's on that. I mean, it's in that. Yes. Oh, huh. I didn't when he that. takes the photo with the military guy in the Jeep, he's like, hey, just make sure this doesn't end up on MySpace. Oh, yeah. No, 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 wait. I didn't say MySpace. I, I understand MySpace. What was the other thing that he mentioned? Oh, me? Yeah, what's that? What? Wait, what did you what? say? I, mean, I was I was piggybacking off the MySpace. That's it's still relevant because it was in the first Iron Man movie. No, no, not MySpace. There were someone. Someone said another social media that. Yeah, I did. yeah. I put them on um, Yahoo Answers. No, I thought someone said something else. Okay, maybe Napster. I. Napster. I said I, Napster. Yeah, Napster. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. Sorry for cutting you off again, Chris. <laughs> I, I, th- I think Soundjack need, need, needs a gag. No, I think Soundjack's new thing should just be cutting you off all the time. I kind of like it. I think it's funny. It's ironic because people always cut me off at school whenever I was in conversation. People always cut me off when I'm driving. No, I'm kidding. Actually, they, they people try to cut me off and then they die. Eric always the, cuts me off. Oh wow! Chris, make out a um, Cards Against Humanity card. But what? yeah, it's it's man- like cutting off Chris. And then Eric <laughs> cut my hand off. I never what? cut your hand off, but uh, Miguel. Oh my God! I just typed something I didn't mean to. Oh God! Miguel, oh where could people find you on the interwebs while we ignore Chris? Uh, people can find me on Twitter at Locus Minor, where um my Twitter borks and says it's the thirty first of December in nineteen sixty nine. I'm pretty sure uh twitter didn't exist then but yeah he sent us a picture that his twitter is just sending out blank tweets from december 31st of 1969 well actually it just says 69 so maybe he thinks it's the future 2069 your future self is trying to communicate with you it's interesting if i if i try to load the tweets itself it'll say fail to load and then if i back out they're gone so i can manually just just get rid of them this is interesting weird (laughs) are these showing up for other people or just you um this happens it's weird this happens if I'm on the official Twitter app and I go oh to my, my, my timeline. I'm retweeting that. <laughs> That's weird. But anyways, uh, is the only person left Tanner? Tanner, where can people find you on the interwebs? Okay, well, you can find me on the interwebs on Twitter at Optanimus Prime. And you can find me in real life at Panera Bread. I hate you. Uh, but anyways, that's about it for this week. So thanks for listening. Oh, and if you're on, you can subscribe to us on YouTube too, Nerdy Geek Talk. If you want, you don't have to, but it's up to you. You can do it. And if you're there, why not give a give a like and stuff? So yeah, I think that's about it for this week. So we'll catch you next week with more stuff. So see ya. Bye, Anara. Autonomous Primal Maximize. Bye bye.